the pleasure now to introduce you uh, Dr. Sripad Jain from Commonwealth Agricultural Bureau International. He is uh, uh, the corresponding editor for uh, CABI International and he is uh, the in charge for book, book publishing in Southern Hemisphere for CABI. Uh, essentially, uh, to my surprise, he is basically a, a petroleum geologist. He has a PhD from India and another PhD from USA and a postdoc as well from the United States of America. He's actually, he's basically a researcher. Uh, uh, he has published a lot on geology and uh, has published papers, books and everything. So basically he's an academician. That's what he claims himself to be called for. Um, now he is going to talk to us about the publishing opportunities for a research scientist with cab abstracts. Uh, sorry. Uh, Cabi International, and uh, he will be speaking about uh, the overall opportunities for agriculture and related areas. Now, Shripa Jain, the program. Thank you so much. I think he forgot. I'm still learning also. <laughs> Can I have the lines a little dimmed? very much and uh, it is indeed uh, a very beautiful uh, place and uh, thank you all for inviting and coming to hear me. I will be quick. Okay, CABI is basically a not-for-profit organization. Um, it is very much interested in agriculture and agriculture related uh, uh, fields. We have basically three wings. One, publishing. Two, we do our own research. And the third is consultancy, which we do with various uh, ministries on a government level. I take care of publishing. So uh, my presentation would be more about what CAVI is, just giving you a brief idea. Then. Uh, some of the products like Cab Abstracts, you're all well aware of it. And uh, then we have this new South Asian edition where the idea is to bring the best in South Asia and take it out uh, to the West. Uh, then I'll mention some of the topics of interest that I am working on or I am responsible for. And then of course the major part is how would you write for an international publisher, in this case, CAVI. <clears throat> so we, we are in around 46, 47 countries now, and we have over 400 staff um, spread across 17 locations. So we are fairly spread out, and we are in business for almost now 101 years. Uh, this is the region I am responsible for, um, for publishing. Uh, we have three basic uh, products. Uh, one, of course, we have a large database. And as Mr. Madan also told me, you guys have a huge database of your own also. And I, Cabby is missing it, so uh, we will talk and make sure that ICRISAT's database is integrated or vice versa. And then we have books and e-books and then we have a massive program on Compendia. This of course is what you are mostly familiar with, Cab Abstracts. So uh, much of my presentation now will be on this South Asian edition. Uh, the basic um, premise is we would like to have good authors uh, to write for CABI. We already have several books coming out this year and the year next. Uh, 
which are primarily from India by Indian authors in collaboration with uh, most authors from US or UK and few from Europe also. Some more and this of course is the latest which are essentially from India, I just commissioned them. These are the fields uh, which I take care, uh, I am responsible for. Some of them uh, are very niche, uh, but some of them are actually within the mandate of ICRISAT also. This being your mandate, uh, which is what I am very much interested. There is huge scope for edited volumes uh, coming out from ICRISAT being published by CABI and much of all your mandate actually fits into our publishing program perfectly well. Um, so there are a few steps which I'll, I will outline so it's easier uh, so you'll have a feel of what is the process they follow in CABI. Um, send me an abstract of what you want to write then uh, I take a decision whether uh, I take a decision primarily based on uh, its academic content and to an extent on the saleability of the book also. And then I share it with four of my UK colleagues. We all together make up the publishing committee of CABI. Um, once we all agree, I request you to fill in the publishing form, uh, the proposal. And once that is done, I would request representative chapters, get it reviewed, pending good reviews, I come back, present it to the publishing committee and send you the contract. Um, it, by and large, from the abstract stage to the contract stage, it generally does not exceed more than two months. The longest period, of course, is takes because of the review. Um, the publishing proposal as such has these um, six major points and uh, I'll go one by one very quickly. Then of course it's the general overview. The basic whole thing is tell me why do you want to write the book. First the rationale. Second of course is how different is your book, the uniqueness of the book and how different your book is with the contemporary books that we have in the marketing. Then of course, uh, uh, since much of the books that I commission, 80% uh, of it is for the West market, Western market, so I strongly suggest that when you say where your book is going to be taken up either as a course material or, or just as a reference book, mention uh, Western universities, it's easier for me to understand and it is easier for the sales guys to understand also. Um, then of course, uh, it helps that you, for each book that you mention, just put in few words, how, what is it that that particular book lacks and what is it that your book will give in return, something more. Then of course, um, be specific in your CV uh, as, as minimum as possible and uh, send uh, publications that are of significance uh, do not give me more than that. And then of course which is very important is uh, a table of content. We, we generally, I always recommend to give me a more detailed table of content, subheading, secondary, tertiary subheadings instead of just giving me headings. It does not allow me to judge or understand the academic quality or excellence of the book. Uh, so if you give me details, it helps me to understand it much better. And this is more so uh, for authored books. Um, this is very preliminary, but it sometimes helps me to understand uh, how your book will be. Uh, for particularly sales and marketing guys, how many line drawings, how many photos. Uh, since we are not-for-profit, we largely desist 
uh, from having color photographs, but we have published books, massive books with absolutely colors. And then uh, for edited books, this is what I am very much interested, of course, uh, is have the chapter title, tell me who your contributing authors are, uh, give them relevant details about those contributing authors, and uh, uh, talk to them and get a confirmation once we have given you the confirmation, yes, we are interested in your book. This is something which I just did uh, on climate change from Africa, um, from 17 countries. Um, so this is how an edited book actually looks like when their table of contents are sent to me. And at the end is the confirmation, yes, the uh, contributors have agreed to write. This is royalty. I normally don't do it, but somehow I was told I should do it. We pay 5%, but we do that in pounds which is equivalent to 7 or 10 percent from Cambridge or CRC or Springer. Um, I have started the Cambridge and CRC Press in India. Uh, there's STM divisions, I'm very much aware. So we do pay 5 percent, but we pay it in pounds, so it is way much higher than what they do. And uh, this is what I am looking forward to, uh, edited volumes monographs, like essays on a particular topic, encyclopedia slash compendia. Uh, for edited books, we have a prerequisite that we need to have for a better spread, because much of, your, of our books goes to beyond India, 80% of it. So we prefer to have a good spread of authors, at least 60% international contributors. Uh, this is my email, that's my phone number, and thank you. 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 Thank I mean, one author is from India and the others are from outside. Um, I do a thorough job. Um, I have worked for Nature. So, I, I know where they have published, in which journal they have published. I look how often they have published. These three parts form almost 30% of uh, my understanding. And the rest, 70, is out of those 71 is what is the topic that they are talking about and how they have written it. That is all. Uh, if, they, if their view is very broad, I like it. If their view is very limited, looking for a bigger uh, domain, and that is how I uh, either pick or reject a particular uh, proposal. But um, um, could be a little problematic. You can actually convert that report into an edited volume. No, no. More than convert into a book. Yes. More than happy try to convert it first into an edited volume. It in its essentially will have several sections or parts. Use that material. Uh, normally, uh, you have to redo 60% of it just to get away with later change in any case, rephrase, paraphrase, or else uh, it becomes a little problematic for us to pick up. But then again, it is the topic that matters. I have converted a pamphlet into an edited volume. And that too from here. Uh, from so yeah. More than happy. Tell the content is good. How much material from Ikisat? We have diagrams that might be reused several times. 
And, and uh, I think that's what his question is. If it's thinking. your own diagram, if you are an author of your own report, I don't think so there is problem with copyright. Now, uh, since you belong to an institute, uh, I think it is best advisable that from your publishing division you take a permission that see, Cabby is interested to publish, this is going into a publication of Cabby, I am the author of a report, can I use one and the other, we make a request that we are interested, this is an author, could you kindly? If that doesn't happen, then you will have to change almost 40% of the figure to get away from copyright. I hope I have answered. But this is very tricky. Uh, normally, uh, if it's a publisher, we from publisher to publisher we talk. And uh, we are allowed five figures per book. So we get away much of it. But sometimes we don't. And then we make a request. And then we don't, then we tell the author, sorry, you have to redraw. And some of them have actually paid nominal amount, but have paid also. Cabby doesn't. Cabby just makes a request, we'll do everything that is possible, which does not involve finance or money. Mm -hmm. Very difficult. Yeah. It yes. would be, um, at the most, like a research paper. Uh, no, not like a research paper. You can go back to 1900 also. Uh, but mostly uh, last one year, two year. But then, uh, there's a nice incident happened in IIHR. Same question. But it was on post harvest. So I told them, go back to the same authors and write a new one. And they did. So they, they had already uh, published in-house and it was very good. But uh, they well, just go around your own institute, get three. So he got around five people from abroad, five people from his own institute, which were part of that report. And it turned out to be a good book, much recent but not much of a